Hi, little chef. Welcome to day 35 of working as a chef on a yacht. Guests are gonna be coming in tomorrow and that means I need to go down to the hole to pull tons of frozen proteins. Lamb, chicken, pork, beef, fish, you name it. There's gonna be a total of seven guests and four crew who all love to eat. I initially provisioned the boat with 600 to 700 pounds of meat because once we get to the Bahamas, you never know what the grocery store is gonna supply. So all of the proteins that I serve on this trip all come from the United States. And thankfully, I have eight freezers to store all this meat in. So proteins and dry goods are provisioned in Miami before the trip starts, and then fresh vegetables come from the Bahamian Islands. We are running dangerously low on fresh vegetables. I've had to dip into my frozen vegetables quite a few times in the past couple of days. I'm okay with serving frozen vegetables to crew, but as soon as guests got on board, I wanna make sure they have access to fresh vegetables. And I am one happy chef today because it's provisioning day. Provisioning is just grocery shopping for the yacht. So I'll grab some Bahamian dollars, which are worth just as much as a US dollar. But since everything here is imported, grocery prices are ridiculous. Just to give you a few examples, a pint of strawberries is $12 and three zucchini is $17. I complain about grocery prices in the United States, but once I get back from the Bahamas, I'm so grateful for the prices. The next set of guests are on board for a week, so that means we need to get a lot of groceries. We're gonna be headed to a remote island where the grocery store is not too great, so I'm gonna load up here and get as much fresh vegetables as I can. The captain and I will load up the car and take the 30 minute drive back to the yacht. After I put all the groceries away, it's on to the next project. The grill is not working, so I had to take all these plates out of here because there's a panel back here that goes to the grill. So these are the charts that Captain Mark had to pull out and that's how he finds where the panels to different things are. So pretty, pretty intensive. I get a lot of comments asking how I exercise while I'm on the yacht. On the upper deck, we actually have a stationary cycling bike. Physical fitness is a big part of my life. So let me show you what my at-home office looks like. I have an elliptical, a walking pad, and the newest addition is this Yeasel bike. This video is sponsored by Yeasel and they were kind enough to send me out a bike to try. I knew that I loved working out on the stationary bike on the yacht, so let's see how this one stands up. The bike comes with a 21 inch screen that pivots 180 degrees. When I received this bike, it came in parts and it took about an hour to assemble. And the process was pretty simple. This bike is definitely a solid piece. It was pretty heavy bringing up these stairs. The first thing I noticed when I started riding this bike is how quiet it is when you're spinning. The seat and handlebars are adjustable so you can have a ride fit just for you. This bike also has sensors to tell you everything you need to know while you're on your ride. These workouts can get pretty intense so they included some water bottle holders on the handles. Now let me show you this bike in action. You can simply plug in your phone and attach to the monitor with an HDMI cable, which is included with the bike. I downloaded the Yeasel Fitness app and you can connect the bike to keep all your stats and check out all of the resources on the application. They have a whole bunch of different scenic rides and workouts that you can participate in. These scenic rides and workouts are on a subscription-based program, but I tried one of the free trials and it was a great class. The instructors are really fun and engaging and keeps you really motivated for your workout. I've done about four workouts on this bike and I can already feel my legs getting stronger. If you're new to cycling, don't be intimidated. There's a lot of beginner classes that teach you everything you need to know. I started cycling about 10 years ago and it's one of my favorite forms of exercise. It's got great music and it's very social. In the description below, I've included a discount code for this bike. All in all, I've been very happy with this bike and how it performs. It's very similar to the one that's on the yacht. Now, another function that I love about this bike is that whatever you have on your phone, it can be mirrored onto the monitor. So if I just wanna take a leisure bike ride and watch some YouTube videos, I can do exactly that. So I pulled up one of my Little Chef videos, plugged it in and it showed up on the monitor. The audio from the phone goes through the speakers on the monitor and they're pretty good. If you ever mirror something onto the monitor, there will always be this little gray box that tracks your progress. It shows you resistance, RPM, which is how many times your wheel spins per minute, calories burned, distance, and your watts. 
I think this is a great feature because I'm not just mindlessly watching TV, I can still track my ride. I had a great workout on the Yisold bike, thanks for checking out my office, and now back to the video. When I provisioned this yacht, I put on the order I wanted 12 pounds of salmon, and it turns out they gave me 12 fillets, so we had a lot of salmon to go through. I've been pushing salmon on this crew since day one, and we've been eating it in so many different ways. Today I'm preparing the salmon just like my mom did when I was a kid. You put on a thin layer of mayonnaise, and my mom would usually use dill, but today I'm using a Caribbean spice. I'll pop this in a 425 degree oven and the top will get nice and bubbly. To go along with the salmon, I'll cut up some romaine lettuce to make into a salad. I serve salads with almost every single meal and the owners love it because they say my salads taste different every time. And that's true because I'll use a different type of vinegar or throw in a fresh herb, drizzle with tahini or balsamic glaze and top with candied nuts or fruits just to add a little pizzazz. This fresh broccoli that I got today looks gorgeous, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep it now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow when guests get on board. So I'll chop it up and keep it in a Ziploc baggie in the fridge and it's ready to go when I need to cook it off tomorrow. There still are a few more leftovers in the fridge and I'm trying to use all of that up before guests get on board. So we have the leftover steak from last night's dinner and the leftover Bahamian mac and cheese. I'll slice up the ribeye steaks, reheat it in a pan with some cheese, and the crew can make little Philly cheesesteak sandwiches with it. Salmon is all done, and lunch is served. We've got salmon, Bahamian mac and cheese, Philly cheesesteaks, and a salad. I thought lunch, about what I was going to cook tomorrow for dinner, so I decided to get some prep work done for that. I'm going to make rack of lamb with a butternut squash and sweet potato puree and a tabbouleh salad. I'll roast off my sweet potatoes, add some butter and cream into a pot, and blitz them up. Once they're smooth, I'll put them into a container and they'll go into the fridge, and tomorrow all I have to do is reheat it. The next thing I'm going to prep is the tabbouleh salad. I'm making it with quinoa and serving it cold. So I'll cook the quinoa and add in some cinnamon, allspice, cumin, throw in my fresh herbs, and my sautéed peppers, zucchinis, and onions. I also need to think about what I'm cooking for lunch tomorrow. I decided to go with pork loin. So I made a marinade with Dijon mustard, paprika, olive oil, and maple syrup. In my opinion, it's best to marinate meat at least 24 hours ahead of time. The crew finished up work for the day and the captain took us out to eat at a restaurant called Splash. This place was really neat. It was right on the beach. There were pool tables and swings at the bar. As soon as we entered the restaurant, there was a sign that said, sit down, order a drink, and stay a while. You're on Bahamian time. And we truly did stay a while. It took about an hour to an hour and a half to get our food. But we did get in a few rounds of pool. What pocket were you even going for? Brian and I also created a game with our empty cups to pass the time. And that got the crew thinking about what games we want to engage the guests in. It's a young crowd coming and it's gonna be a party. Ooh, flip cup. I'll be the social chairman. Is he poisonous? You don't think anything's friendly except for nurse sharks. What would you consider me, Mark? Friendly or unfriendly? Is she a nurse shark? 